Chapter 1. Change is not as difficult as it seems. Change is constant. Everyone knows that. But change itself is not easy because it means adopting newer ways of thinking and doing things. But many people aren't ready for that. Change is hard because people wear themselves out. And that's the second surprise about change. What looks like laziness is often exhaustion. Chip Heath. Here's a common proof we can all identify with. Everyone sets New Year's resolutions. But how many people do you think pull through with them? Not many. According to Robert Maurer, the average American makes the same New Year's resolution for 10 years without changing. The few who succeed only do so after breaking five or six promises. Keep in mind, New Year's resolutions have become an annual ritual of failure. But you can change that by creating little steps for achieving each goal you set. Don't just set goals without the how. The same thing applies to organizations. At the start of each year, companies set goals for different departments, and many of these departments end up underperforming. But the Kaizen way can change this on both the personal and corporate levels. Kaizen is all about the process of using small steps for continual improvement. It describes the ability to use minimal effort to improve a habit, a process, or a product. The first known application of this philosophy was during the Great Depression in America, though not known as Kaizen then. The Kaizen philosophy was introduced in Japan after the Second World War when General Douglas MacArthur's occupation forces rebuilt the destroyed country, taking it one step at a time. Kaizen is an effective and easy way to achieve a specific goal. The personal application of Kaizen involves six different strategies, which include using small questions to dispel fear, developing new skills and habits by thinking small thoughts, taking small actions toward desired goals, Solving minor problems amid a crisis. Encouraging yourself by celebrating milestones on your way to desired outcomes. And staying mindful so that you can experience crucial moments that others don't get to see. We'll talk about these six strategies in subsequent chapters. Contrary to popular opinion, change doesn't have to be painful and should not be used to force anyone into meaningful action. This summary teaches you how to effectively clear the roadblocks that keep individuals and work groups from achieving their desired results. You'll learn how to leverage your brain's design to create change effortlessly. Chapter 2. The cortex is the part of the brain that supports the Kaizen technique by deactivating fear. Change can be scary, which is why many attempts to reach goals through revolutionary means often fail. Nevertheless, it is possible to use the idea of Kaizen to disarm the brain's fear response and awaken the genius in all of us. Remember, the fear of change is rooted in the human brain. The human brain has three parts, the stem, the midbrain, and the cortex. The cortex, which started developing 102 million years ago, is responsible for the miracle of being human. You need access to the cortex to create lasting change and enhance civilization. It is also worthy of note that this access is often restricted. The brain is made such that any new challenge, opportunity, or desire triggers a degree of fear. Some people overcome it by converting fear into positive emotions, such as excitement. The bigger the challenge, the more excited, productive, and thrilled they become. The Kaizen method of taking little steps can also solve this challenge. You can use small, easily achievable goals to go past the amygdala and avoid setting off alarm bells. The amygdala is the part of the brain that alerts the body to prepare for action. As you practice taking small steps, your cortex starts working and the brain assists you in achieving the desired change, thus helping you build new habits. In time, consistent small steps weaken your resistance to change. As we round up this chapter, remember never to let fear and roadblocks to change make you feel so frustrated that you stop trying to improve. Fear is a gift from the body because it alerts us to what's ahead. Use this emotion to your advantage rather than let it hinder your progress. Did you know, unlike other organs that have remained fairly consistent through human evolution, the brain has continued to change. Chapter 3. Asking small questions is a Kaizen method that elevates your creativity. In Japanese business circles, Kaizen encourages each staff member to stay vigilant on behalf of the organization. This leads to an increase in profit and a reduction in cost. Using the Kaizen method in this manner requires that you make simple requests restricted in scope. The effect of this simplicity gets a lot done. It improves both the quality and quantity of employee responses. Employees get the satisfaction of implementing their suggestions and improving their daily routines. They also enjoy the pleasure of being active and engaged at work. 
Those who are growing great are always asking why. If they fail or lose, they ask why. If they succeed or win too, they ask why. Is Railmore AI for? The brain feeds on questions because they keep it intelligently engaged. Keep in mind that a question is to the brain what an alarm is to humans. It wakes up the brain and gives it pleasure, even if the question is odd. The fight-or-flight response is kept at bay by asking small questions the Kaizen way. Examples of these questions include, What can I do five minutes daily to become more efficient? How can I avoid spending more? These types of questions allow us to downplay our fears. They help the brain focus on analyzing problems and taking action. As ordinary as it seems, posing the same question regularly and waiting patiently for an answer mobilizes the cortex in the brain. The cortex absorbs the question and processes it without your knowledge until the answer is ready. A question is neither scary nor demanding. This is why it is fun for the brain. When you ask small questions, your amygdala, the part of the brain where the adrenaline response occurs, remains asleep while the cortex wakes up to take notice. By fashioning your questions the Kaizen way, you reduce the chances of waking the amygdala and arousing debilitating fear. Did you know, the human brain doubles in size after the first year of life. Chapter 4. The Kaizen Method Involves Imagining Small Thoughts Toward Your Goal and Taking Necessary Actions The mind can help you develop new social, mental, and even physical skills just by imagining yourself acting them out. Although humans are often advised to journey into the unknown or fake it till they make it, there's a nearly painless way to train yourself to perform complex tasks, even tasks unsuited to your nature and talents. This method is called mind sculpture and can help you run a tough race. Mind sculpture takes advantage of neuroscience, suggesting that the brain learns best gradually. Keep in mind, imagination and futuristic thinking play a major part in helping you achieve your desired goals. Psychologists use guided imagery. Patients are to close their eyes and imagine how they perform with perfection and confidence in whatever skill they want to improve. Mind sculpture is an enhanced version of this same technique developed by Ian Robertson. It involves total imaginary acts that requires practitioners to pretend that they're engaged in an action, not just seeing, but hearing, tasting, smelling, and touching. In mind sculpture, people imagine the movement of their muscles and the rise and fall of their emotions. Your brain's chemistry changes within minutes of performing a mental task using all your senses. In this way, you can approach a difficult task with mental rehearsal, which helps you avoid unproductive fear and the tragedy of a trial-and-error approach. The Kaizen strategy is perfect for anyone struggling to achieve a goal that remains far-fetched. Did you know, many global stage athletes, including Michael Jordan and Jack Nicholas, have used mind sculpture to improve their skills. Chapter 5. Carrying out small actions following the Kaizen method encourages success. You can avoid obstacles that once defeated you by taking little steps that may seem easy or inconsequential. You also cultivate an appetite for continuous success. Remember, it's easier to make changes by taking small steps than to wait for the day you'll wave a magic wand to solve all your problems. Using Kaizen, your first action to achieve the desired outcome might be small but its regularity eventually yields favorable results. Imagine you want to achieve the stop overspending goal. A small step is always to have a budget before you go shopping and leave the house with just the right amount of money or maybe just a little extra for eventualities. Another example is the exercise goal. A small but valuable action would be to jog on the spot for a few minutes every morning. Both examples require minimal effort, which makes it easy to be consistent. To learn a new language, you can memorize one new word daily or practice repeating the same unique word once or twice a day, adding something different each week. If you have struggled to make a significant change over the years, practicing small steps like these in line with your goals can help you get your desired changes. Sometimes, considerably bold efforts to make a change can be counterproductive. Small actions are perfect because they take very little time or money and trick the brain into thinking, this change is so tiny it's no big deal. Ultimately, they often lead to rapid change, so there's no need to get scared, unhappy, or worked up. Taking small steps requires optimism and patience. Never believe the steps are a waste because they're easy. You need to let yourself experience the joy of taking the first step. This helps you decide whether or not it is appropriate to take another. Your current activity becomes automatic, effortless, and even pleasurable whenever you're ready for new action. Do not be pushed into taking steps. Wait until your brain overcomes its resistance and hurries you on your way. 
Did you know, one of the most vocal advocates of continuous improvement in small, consistent actions was the American engineer and statistician, Dr. W. Edwards Deming. Chapter 6. Identify and Remove Minor Hindrances on Your Path to Success It is quite frustrating to identify and remove obstacles, but more annoying is that they have a way of obstructing your path to positive change. But you can avoid undergoing more painful remedies later by training yourself to identify and solve minor problems now. Everyone loves incentives, and giving little rewards to yourself for every problem solved is the best encouragement towards achieving success. These rewards create the internal motivation required for lasting change. Keep in mind, the brain is motivated to act when there's a reward in view. Use this natural inclination to your advantage when you feel like procrastinating. According to behavioral psychologist B.F. Skinner, positive reinforcement via reward systems helps shape human behavior quickly. But rewards must be given with caution. Japanese executives usually offer small rewards because they discovered that big prizes remove intrinsic motivation and creativity. They want employees to be more internally driven than externally motivated. You can apply this in your life and wherever you find yourself as a leader, even with your kids. Think hard before deciding on the perfect reward. Your rewards should have these three qualities. Be appropriate, be relevant, and be inexpensive. The Kaizen approach also forms the foundation of solid relationships by teaching people to pick an interest in the small details of their partner's life. Through the Kaizen technique, you can regain the ability to derive pleasure in the moment and become fascinated with whatever you're doing and with those around you. Conclusion You've probably heard that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. That's the philosophy upon which the Kaizen technique rests. This technique is quite old and we can't deny its efficacy, even in the modern world. Kaizen involves using tiny moments and taking small steps to inspire change. It is a natural and graceful technique for achieving goals and maintaining excellence. As mentioned in the summary, practicing mind sculpture in the true Kaizen fashion is a great way to achieve your goals. It can help you bring about the progress you desire at an easy and comfortable pace. Mind sculpture is the central part of Kaizen. It involves engaging your mind to bring about desired change, from developing new habits to creating innovative products. Mind sculpture involves several steps, which include isolating a task that either makes you uncomfortable or that you're afraid to do, deciding how much of your time you're willing to devote to mind sculpture, ensuring that you practice repetition while sitting or lying down in a quiet, comfortable spot, and closing your eyes, imagining that you are in a difficult situation and looking at yourself through your own eyes, expanding your imagination along with the rest of your senses, imagining that you are performing the task without moving any part of your body. Repeating this a couple of times helps you to get ready. Try small steps when you eventually feel ready. Ensure the steps you're taking align with the mental pictures you've created. Can I persuade you that if you let a driver into your lane, or thank a sales clerk, or smile at someone in a hallway, you can change his or her life? Of course not. But if you don't go through the day with the assumption that small moments and small gestures can touch people's lives, what is the alternative belief? Robert Maurer Try this. Pick a goal you want to achieve in the next couple of months and do the following. Perform the mind sculpture steps to prep your mind for this goal. Decide on small steps you'll take daily or weekly towards your goal. Try to be consistent.